Hi folks, this is Keith Shaw here from Network World and uh, I wanted to show you the new LG VL600. This is a USB data modem and it's uh, operating on Verizon Wireless's new 4G network, uh, 4G LTE network which launches uh, nationwide on December 5th. Uh, but we got a sneak peek at uh, the device here and we're going to show you a little bit about what it is. Uh, basically it's a USB data modem. It's pretty big. It's four inches up and about two inches wide. Uh, but this flips open and you can see a, a nice little USB port here. So you can kind of connect this to your uh, USB port or it comes with an extension cable and that's what we're going to do right now. So we're going to connect this to the modem. It also comes with a, a handy clip here that you can put in right here and then connect it to the top of your computer here. Uh, this is obviously to, to, to kind of give it a little bit uh, higher range for the antenna. Uh, and so it's connecting to our computer right now and in a second it's going to uh, connect and the VZ Access Manager software that comes with it will tell us uh, the signal strength that we've got and hopefully this will come up soon and we've got a 4G network capability uh, to connect to. Uh, just some other uh, stuff that uh, the, the modem itself will cost $100 with a two-year service agreement and then data rate plans start at $50 a month for 5 gigabytes of data and uh, 80 bucks a month for 10 gigabytes of data with a $10 per gigabyte overage charge. Uh, unfortunately, there's no unlimited data plan, so uh, you will have to track your data usage more than with maybe some 3G plans that offer unlimited data. Okay, so it's come up now. We are in a 4G area. We are located in Framingham, Massachusetts, and Boston is one of the 38 uh, metropolitan areas that are covered. Uh, we don't have great strength here. We've only got two bars of strength with four uh, possibilities here, uh, but we will be able to connect here to the Verizon Access Network and connect in a second. And once we are connected, I'm going to go just do a quick speed test to show you some of the download speeds. Now Verizon says that download speeds over LTE will be between 5 to 12 megabits per second and upload speeds will be between 2 to 5 megabits of four in, you know, within the coverage area. 3G speeds that we've been able to see, upload speeds have been between 1 and 3 megabits, and then uh, at times you can get uh, 4 or 5 uh, megabits per second download. So this is definitely faster, obviously, than 3G. Uh, and we are now connected, and let's go to speedtest.net, which is what we use to test our uh, speeds, and here we go. And if you can see right here, we are now getting about 6.5 megabits of download speed. And so about 6.76 here, and now we're going to do upload speeds. And again, 3, 4, 5, 6, and that's very good, especially, uh, in fact, we're getting faster upload speeds on this test than we were for download speeds, which is very, very rare. Uh, but again, if you do a lot of downloading, you'll know that, um, again, a 5 megabyte file for an MP3, 6 seconds, uh, an 800 megabyte movie, 16 minutes, and a video clip, 35 megabits within 42 seconds. That's really fast uh, for a mobile wide area server. Let's just do one more test here. Uh, see if we can get faster than 6.7. Uh, there we are, 7.5, 7 7.3. Uh, pretty fast, and again, only two bars of coverage there. So if you were in a stronger signal area, uh, I'm sure that you would get closer to that 12 megabits of, uh, per second that's promised. So that's uh, pretty much it for the uh, VGL V7, VL600. Uh, available starting December 5th, Sunday, 2010. Uh, thanks a lot uh, for watching. Bye.